Hello everybody, I'm Bill with Picard and welcome to my little corner of the internet. Today's video is a review of Jura Cycling's long sleeve whoop, merino wool jersey. Full disclosure, this jersey has been provided for me by Jura, but it's not a paid promotion in any way. I'm a huge fan of merino wool, I use merino wool socks and I've been using a merino wool base layer for absolutely years the same one it washes and washes and washes i very rarely have it off my body so when jura offered to let me try one of their jerseys i jumped at the chance now then it comes in this little foam musette which is rather nice because it's reusable packaging and i've already unpacked this because i've been wearing this all week obviously and there it is now it looks good here, but it looks far better on me. So if you'll excuse me. Now, when Jura contacted me, they said, go on our website and pick any jersey you want to review. And I went for this navy blue long sleeve. And the reason why I went for a long sleeve jersey is I really wanted to test a long sleeve jersey that isn't um, like a thick thermal windproof winter jacket that's just a jersey for a long time because I really like the way they look and I think that they suit most riding most of the time like now in springtime it's cooler in the mornings you may have like sun in the afternoon and warm um, but it's going to be cool again in the evening so if you're all day on the bike I just thought I'd get more use out of this than I would another short sleeve jersey um, and this is an incredibly fine jersey in fact if I hold a light behind it you can probably see the wall through it and I have to say I'm really impressed this jersey as tested is a medium because I'm six foot six originally the lovely ladies at Jura sent me a large which is the size I take in most cycling kit but it was a little bit baggy on the arms um, and in a couple of other places and not quite the aero fit that I prefer in cycling kit so I sent it back to them and swapped it for a medium now then these jerseys are unisex which is cool but if you're a petite I'd suggest sizing down if you like to have your jerseys custom fit to you after you buy them which I know some of my followers do uh, for reasons of big muscles or big boobs or whatever um, then order to size and there'll be plenty of room to have it taken in anywhere you want it taken in now then things that I love about this jersey it's insanely comfortable and I love that it's long sleeve. It's much more comfortable than wearing a jersey and arm warmers. Um, and I love the high neck as well. I usually, if you watch my videos, you tend to see that I have most of my jerseys unzipped like this all the time because I have a very thick neck. But with this jersey, because it's wool, the neck is actually lower at the back than it is at the front so that when you lent forward you don't get wind down your top which is a really cool feature uh, it also means that and I don't really advise it because I don't like the way it looks but you can also do that if you want it out the way I also love the pockets now as most of you know on a cycling jersey you usually get one big pocket in the center and two small pockets at the sides However, on this jersey, you get three massive pockets and the pockets are secured with buttons. If I just pop this open, as you can see, the pockets are huge. This is my phone and I can fit it in the pocket with absolutely no problem. And the buttons are brilliant. I was a little apprehensive about pockets having buttons at first. Um, simply because I'm not good with buttons at the best of times but it's an absolutely superb feature because I was able to put my mini pump for the first time in any jersey in the side pocket and I put it in the side pocket here and the button acts like a divider so if you have a slightly longer mini pump it stops the pump sliding towards the side and falling out your jersey um, which anyone who rides in an aerial position will have experienced at some point But it's an absolutely superb idea and especially if you've got stuff that you're not using all the time You can do the button up and you know you're not going to lose anything now Then this jersey doesn't have a zip pocket, but I understand that many of the Jura long sleeve jerseys do um, 
Normally, I'd mark a jersey down for that, but I'm totally not fussed because the pockets are so secure. You know, all three pockets are wonderfully secure and I'm happy to put my phone in there. I'm happy to put my wallet in there and know that they're not gonna fall out. Uh, and they are so wide and they are so deep. Now then another thing I love about this jersey is it's officially one of the most comfortable things that I own, which is saying something because I'm a big fan of cashmere, um, merino and lambswool. And I don't like synthetic fabrics at all. And it's it feels like a feels like a soft jersey on the outside, but inside it's super soft. I mean, I have some uh, cashmere socks and these rival the softness of my cashmere sock. In fact, like a six-year-old who won't take off his Spider-Man costume, I actually went out for a ride on my bike, came home, took my bib shorts off, had a shower, put some jeans on, and then put this jersey back on and went out in it. And while we were out, I actually got complimented on how nice it looks, which just shows how cool this jersey is. One thing I really like about this jersey as well, over a Lycra jersey, is something that I used to have on my mountain biking jerseys, but um, you can't get on cycling jerseys, which is the inside of the jersey is actually so soft that you can clean your sunglasses on it. Which, if you've ever had sunglasses get filthy and then needed to wipe them and you're wearing a sweaty Lycra jersey, um, it's, a, it's a huge bonus. Now then, things that I don't really like about this jersey. Um, I'll have to think very hard. It doesn't come with a piece of paper that tells you about the features of the jersey, which is severely nitpicky, but honestly that's like how nitpicky I'm having to be to find fault with this jersey. But it is kind of a fair point, because if you bought it someone as a gift, they'd just be like, oh, that's a really cool jersey. And you can't say, yes, and these are the features of the jersey that I have bought for you, you know? Which, by the way, if you have a cyclist in your life and you want to buy them a nice gift, a custom jersey is one of the coolest things you can, other than another bike, <laughs> um, a custom jersey is one of the coolest things that you can buy for any cyclist. If you like silicon grippers on stuff, this jersey has no silicon grippers anywhere. It has no silicon grippers on the bottom. It has no silicon grippers on the wrists at all. But it's long enough and it has none on the wrists, but the wrists don't really ride up. Although, like I say, I chose a medium and I have gorilla length arms. So it is slightly shorter on the arms, but to me that's worth it for the, for the fit. Oh, and I will say when I was testing, there was a very strong icy wind, but where I bent my elbow in the crease, um, I did get cold air blowing on my elbows, but that's the only place. Like I got no wind through the center of my body or my back or my forearms or my upper arm, only where the fabric creases um, for my elbow. And, and if you were wearing a short sleeve jersey, then uh, obviously you'd just have cold arms. As for the colors these jerseys come in, um, there's only a handful of different choices, but they are really nice, each and every one of them. And I will say, if you're of a darker skin tone, there is a mustard yellow, black and white option, which sounds bizarre, but trust me, check it out, um, that is just made for you. It will look so cool on someone with, of a darker skin tone than me. And if it wasn't for the fact that I'm pale and pasty, I would get that jersey, because it's really nice, although I love this one dearly. Um, but that also, that one's not available in a long sleeve. They also do a, a light blue in a short sleeve, which is very Faustino copy and very cool. Because of the amazing properties of Merino wool, it was the number one material for cycling jerseys all through the golden era of cycling. Um, for decades, you know, Copy, Bartoli, Pouliador, Jacques Anquetel, Eddie Merckx, all wore um, Merino jerseys. When you see old photos of those guys in the Giro d'Italia and they're riding up um, snowy mountain passes, in just a short sleeve jersey and you wonder how the hell they're not freezing to death it's because they're in a merino wool jersey um, and it's the same jersey that they cross the hot plains with you know days later um, they are incredibly incredibly versatile jerseys now for a while merino wool fell out of favor thanks to cheap um, easy to print on acrylic which was horrible and itchy 
and thankfully that was then replaced by Lycra. But in recent years, there's been a massive resurgence of Merino simply because people have rediscovered just how good it is um, to cycling and for cycling gear. And Dura Cycling have brought back the vintage cuts, the vintage looks, the vintage aesthetic, but using H2 dry modern Merino wool. So these jerseys are even better than the jerseys that the greats wore. So what are my overall opinions of this jersey? Well, I think you can tell by now that I absolutely love it. Um, whether you are a person commuting to work and you want to just shove a pair of jeans in your backpack or leave a pair of jeans at work, ride to work, Put your jeans, take your bib shorts off, put your jeans on. You could wear this all day at work, it won't smell, um, and you'll look really cool. I know a lot of cycle tourers and cycle packers out there don't like uh, lycra jerseys, they tend to wear shirts and stuff. But if I'm honest, I think this is better. Um, it's just as good protection from the sun, but it's also a lot warmer and a lot nicer and a lot more versatile than, uh, than a cotton shirt is and won't stink. Um, and get all gross it's it's really really nice and it's a really good solution to that problem or if you're self-conscious and you don't like wearing lycra and you want kind of a cooler option than 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 a lycra jersey this is it and even performance cyclists out there um this is like i said this is the most comfortable jersey i've ever worn i think and if you are super comfortable you're going to be super fast this may not be the weight weeniest jersey out there by, you know, maybe 50 grams or something like that. But uh, cut your hair shorter, you know, <laughs> like that's how much weight you'd, you'd be saving. And I think that if you're going to invest in cycling gear, to invest in something super high quality that's going to last you years and years and years and become a part of you, especially if, like I say, it's personalized to you, that's an absolutely amazing thing. I'll put a link down in the description next to my social media uh, to their website so you can go and get yourself one. I'm very thankful to Serena and Claire at Jura Cycling for letting me try one of their jerseys and even more thankful for, for them letting me keep it. Um, and I can't wait till they come out with their socks. Um, and thank you all for watching. Please stay safe out there, stay seen, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.